as usual, there's a lot going on with the bloodline. So we'll check out everything that's going on with Roman Reigns, the Usos, and the new direction that everything could be going in. So let's start things off with the Raw after WrestleMania and everything that went down there for Roman and the Bloodline. Roman Reigns gets introduced by Triple H, who wants everyone to acknowledge Roman Reigns and his 946 day title reign. Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and Paul Heyman make their way out to the ring. No signs of the Usos during this Bloodline entrance, and that'll be important later on, and we'll get to that. But Roman comes out, and he tells Hollywood to acknowledge him. He gets cut off by Cody Rhodes, and Cody talks about how he definitely had Roman Reigns beat at WrestleMania, and how even Roman knows that's true. Cody's demand is simple. He wants a rematch against Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal title. But Roman and Heyman laugh off Cody's demand. They say that there'll be no rematch at Backlash, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, or any other upcoming premium live event. That's when Cody Rhodes makes a suggestion for a tag team match. Roman Reigns accepts, but him and Heyman have a very special demand for who Cody's partner can be. They say that it has to be someone that competed at WrestleMania, and someone who's okay with the fact that they'll have no world title opportunities ever again for the rest of Roman's title reign, which led to Brock Lesnar coming out to accept the role of being Cody Rhodes' partner. And it made sense, because he did fit that description. Brock competed at WrestleMania, and he already had his final title match against Roman Reigns, so he really had nothing to lose. So that big tag team title match gets made official. We then go backstage for a very important backstage segment. We saw Jimmy and Jay Uso walking backstage for the very first time since losing their undisputed tag team titles. The Usos go to knock on Roman's door and enter the room, but they get instantly stopped and greeted by Paul Heyman at the door. The Usos say how they want to come in and see Roman, but Paul Heyman says that Roman Reigns and Sola Sokoa stepped out of the room to talk strategy for their main event tag team match later on in the show. Paul Heyman reassures the Usos that even though they all didn't have a good weekend at WrestleMania, referring to the Usos losing their titles, everything was still good and that Roman Reigns thanks them for their contributions during the WrestleMania match against Cody Rhodes. Paul Heyman quickly dismisses the Usos and tells them that Roman Reigns wants to take the rest of the night off to go to the jet and just wait there for the rest of the night until Roman and Solo were done handling their business. The Usos agree and walk away, while Paul Heyman re-enters Roman's locker room, and that's when we get the big twist and revelation of the entire segment. Paul Heyman speaks into the room and verbally says, quote, I took care of it, tribal chief, end quote. Revealing to only us, the audience, that Paul Heyman was flat out lying to the Usos about Roman's whereabouts. Heyman said that Roman and Solo stepped out of the room, and that's why he wasn't letting the Usos enter the room. But we see moments later that Paul Heyman is obviously speaking to Roman Reigns, who's clearly inside the room and didn't step out. So that was a huge reveal right there that makes it quite clear that not only did Paul Heyman lie to the Usos, but that Paul Heyman also hit them with some classic manipulation and gaslighting as well. Paul Heyman made it seem like Roman was giving the Usos the night off as a reward for their contributions during the WrestleMania main event, making it seem like it was a token of the Tribal Chief's gratitude. But in reality, chances are that Roman Reigns was so embarrassed and frustrated about the fact that the Usos lost their undisputed tag team titles at WrestleMania that he didn't really want to see their faces at all. That definitely seems like what was actually going on here in reality. So that's a very interesting thing to note here. Usually they make Roman's gaslighting and manipulation seem a bit more unclear, to make you really wonder if he's being serious or not. But the fact that they had this reveal that Paul Heyman was lying about Roman's whereabouts, that tells us that Roman is legitimately furious with the Usos but he's covering up his rage and disguising it for the time being. He didn't want to see the Usos. He didn't want anything to do with them 
because of their WrestleMania loss. So that's why you had Paul Heyman take care of them. And this isn't the first time that Roman Reigns used this manipulative tactic of having the Usos take a well-deserved night off. It was only a few weeks ago where tension between Roman and the Usos were first starting to get high. This was the edition of SmackDown where Jimmy Uso got loud with Roman and voiced his opinion about how he felt it was so wrong that Roman was going to hold him accountable for Jay's actions. And moments after that took place, Roman Reigns interrogated Jay Uso, asking him if he was still a part of the bloodline and saying that he loves him. Jay says he was still a part of the bloodline, but did not say that he loved Roman back, which was a big sign. And that's when Roman told Heyman that he found out everything he needed to know about Jay. So what did Roman Reigns do that night to the Usos? Well, Roman did the same thing that he did on the Raw after WrestleMania. He sent the Usos to the jet to eat, while he and Solo took care of business inside the ring. So this now makes the second time in only a few weeks where Roman has fully dismissed the Usos to the jet early on in the night. And even though Roman may dress it up and make it look like a reward for the Usos, we know that it's actually a punishment for them. And that's why we talked about how Roman Reigns retaining was probably needed if they wanted to tell the story in this fashion. Having the Bloodlines lose all their titles less than 24 hours apart from each other would have been complete chaos and too much to focus on all at once for the story. But having Roman Reigns retain and having the Usos lose their titles, the direction and story is more clear. Roman will be furious with the Usos and basically say, well, I retained, why couldn't you guys do the same thing? Roman Reigns will make it seem like he successfully defended his title by himself at WrestleMania. But we all know the truth. Roman had Paul Heyman, Sola Sokoa, and the Usos all assist him in overcoming Cody Rhodes. But the Usos had no help at all from Roman or any other Bloodline members against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So that's why things had to go down in this fashion because Jay was already basically out on Roman Reigns. But now that they lost their titles and truly see Roman is all about helping himself and not the family, this should make things easier for Jay to talk Jimmy over to his side and go against Roman Reigns. There was also a backstage segment between Roman Heyman and Solo Sokoa, where Roman questioned Paul Heyman on if he knew Brock Lesnar would be here tonight. And Heyman says, this is usually the time of the year where Brock Lesnar goes missing for six to nine months. This segment felt very similar to what we were used to seeing during Brock and Roman story from 2021 where Roman was extremely suspicious about Paul Heyman working behind his back with Brock Lesnar. So you have to wonder if that's what's being teased here again. Does Paul Heyman still have some ties to Brock Lesnar or doing some other things behind Roman's back that we don't know about? It's also still unknown who will be Roman's next opponent, but there's already buzz and rumors about Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, and more big feuds allegedly being on their way for Roman Reigns. It looks like for the time being, they'll continue to grow the tension between Roman Reigns and the Usos, because obviously Roman isn't just going to look past the tag team title loss. So expect to see more come out of that story. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.